Hi. Now we have made a basic shipping method. Uh, the shipping method gets applied whenever the subtotal is more than one. You can add other rules as well. You have multiple rules. Based upon that rules, the shipping method will be applied. Now when the shipping method is applied, it adds a $10 shipping charge. You can see it is $10 shipping charge for the shipping method. Uh, now suppose you want to add some extra charges to this shipping based upon the quantity of product present in the customer cart. Now for that we will enable additional charges and we'll go to the based upon the cart quantity. Now say you want to charge them a fixed fees of five dollar extra when their quantity is between two to ten units. Now when you will save this now when you will go over here uh, let's reduce the it will not apply right now because we have made it for two to ten units but the quantity right now is 24 units so it will not apply let's make it as three units now the quantity will become four units so it will be 15 now so you can see shipping charge is now 15 for the quantity of four units three of this one of this now say you thought that after 10 unit up to 50 unit you want to give them a discount of say 2 so now you will see over here the charge will be uh, one second eh? the quantity is from 11 to 15 so now let's make this as 23 units so now the quantity will be between 11 to 15 so the shipping charge will be 8 because now we were in this group and in this group this minus 2 will be 8 Now suppose you decided that after 50 units you want to charge them a fixed fees of say 0.5 into quantity in the cart. Say one, one into quantity after 51 units. So now let's make 51 units in the cart, 51 and above. Let's make this as 51, 55. So it will be 56. So this will be 56 plus 10, 66. See? Now this is 66. Since we filled in this group, this was 1 into quantity. The quantity in the user cart was 66 units, uh, 56 units, so 56 plus the original shipping cost of 10, that gives us 66. You can even decide that after 51 units you do not want to charge them, so you simply add minus 10. So now what will happen is the shipping charge will become 0. Now it is zero shipping charge. So you can use QTY short code in this particular expression that will get replaced with the quantity of product in the cart. I hope this video will be helpful to you in understanding the additional charge by cart quantity.